Hi everyone and welcome to Biography Shorts. I'm Miss Christine from the Hollowbrook branch and since April is National Poetry Month we are talking about poets this month and I am going to be telling you a little bit about Marianne Hoberman. We are going to talk a little bit about her and I will show you some of the books of hers that you can find in the library system. Mary Ann Hoberman is a poet and the author of roughly 50 books, almost all of which are written in verse. She was born in Connecticut in 1930, and she started writing when she was young. She once said, I knew I was going to be a writer even before I knew how to write. I think I was about four years old when I first understood that many of the stories I loved so much had been made up by real people with real names rather than having always been here like the moon or the sky. She wrote for her school newspaper and edited her high school yearbook and then went on to eventually get a master's degree in English literature from Yale. Her first book was published in 1957. It was called All My Shoes Come in Twos and was illustrated by her husband Norman Hoberman. As a side note, she and Norman are not the only creative members of her family. Her son Chuck Hoberman invented the Hoberman Sphere. You may have played with a toy version of the Hoberman Sphere that looks something like this. Back to Marianne. She has continued writing since the publication of that first book, although she has also held other jobs, including in teaching and theater. She received a National Book Award in 1983 and a Poetry for Children Award in 2003. In 2008, she was named the Children's Poet Laureate. And here's one more little interesting fact about her. She says she has an excellent memory, remembering lots of details from her own childhood, and she uses those memories as inspiration for her writing. Now, let's take a look at just a few of the many books by Mary Ann Hoberman that you can find in the Mercer County Library System. A House is a House for Me is one of Mary Ann Hoberman's most well-known works. This beloved book for preschoolers and beyond won a National Book Award it's filled with fun rhymes about all kinds of homes, not just houses and apartment buildings, but anthills and even pea pods too. Next, we have I'm Going to Grandma's, which is a poem in picture book format and is all about the fun and maybe a teeny bit scary parts of a first sleepover. This is a sweet story about family love. Miss Mary Mack is an adapted and expanded version of the song and hand game that I remember reciting as a kid. This version has extra verses, fun illustrations, and instructions on how to play the classic hand clapping game. And if you like this, she has several other books that feature adaptations of classic rhymes in a similar format, including Yankee Doodle, The Eensy Weensy Spider, and Mary Had a Little Lamb. This book here is one in a whole series of You Read to Me, I'll Read to You books by Mary Ann Hoberman. These books contain poems and short stories laid out in a way meant to be read aloud by two or sometimes even three readers together. They offer a great way to encourage beginner readers to read along with you. Other titles feature fables, fairy tales, scary stories, and mother goose tales. Next, we have The Tree That Time Built, which is a collection of poetry. These poems were not all written by Mary Ann Hoberman, but were selected by her as Children's Poet Laureate. I love this one because it's filled with poems about science and nature. And if you enjoy this, check out her other collection, which is called Forget-Me-Nots, Poems to Learn by Heart. And finally, I'd like to mention Strawberry Hill. This is not a book of poetry, but a novel recommended for around ages 8 to 12, and is inspired by her own experiences of growing up on a street called Strawberry Hill. This timeless story features 10-year-old Allie, who has moved to a new neighborhood and has lots of changes to adjust to. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please visit mcl.org to find these and other titles by Mary Ann Hoberman and visit her website at maryannhoberman.com. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.